Salut, salut, and welcome. We are playing The Sims 4 History Challenge. Uh, we are in early civilization. We are literally about to hop over to Middle Ages. Now, in why last episode i went around and i updated the world i put in the church i changed the outfits of all the other places i've got them some pros uh, prospects prospective prospects i have no idea some people that they may be able to date so <laughs> that is something i've moved the storyline on a wee bit on the we only have a very small storyline going on but it basically consists of the fact that god has passed slashed moved away and he did help adam and eve a few times with gaining skills and things and Abel and Hera are telling their kids lots of lovely things about Adam, Eve and the good old days. Now Cain, he ended up having to um, move in with God and Jesus because they had, uh, Cain committed the first crime in the whole of Sim life um and that was he stole the fruit forbidden fruit from god's garden so <laughs> um he had to go and live with them basically to learn to be good um but now god is gone mysteriously disappeared in the form of a tombstone and jesus has about 11 days left I think it will be good for, and we, in Middle Ages, we also have to um, have the Sims go to attend church once a week. We ha That is a requirement to complete the challenge in the historic uh, challenge side of it. Not the casual, the historic. So, um, yeah, with that, Cain is going to be the preacher and he is going to tell stories and it's going to be, a, you know, like a cult. <laughs> but for now, I think I need to, well, Abel's just about to get this uh, skill up and that will mean that he can spar with his sister and he can spar with his father, who he has to defeat and we will have completed that so now he can practice for eating for fun thank god for that so where are you abel dude where are you going you're tired tough tough luck whoa what am i doing let's go down and talk to your boy hug lovingly and then he's going to beat you up <laughs> he's in his pants it's all good um and so if we go to friendly interactions, it should be here. Apparently this is where it will be. <sighs> Please. <laughs> Please be here. It's not here. It's supposed to be here. Actions. Ah, practice fighting. So he has to be a... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That light, no hesitation. He was like, you're going down. <gasps> no. His dad beat him. He has to defeat his dad though. Let's do that again. I might have to wait till that goes. Uh, let's try that again. Practice, practice fighting, practice fighting. All right, come on, Abel. You, ha Apollo, you have to be Abel. Oh, oh, that looked good. Come on. Yes! <laughs> he did it. And now he has to spar with his sister. He really does need some hair. Right, I'm gonna jump in very quickly and change them in, change their outfits, update their wardrobe. No, let's let's stuff it. Let's do it. Um, I mean, he he's picking fights all over the place. <laughs> 
Um, where is it? Practice fighting. So he only has to spar with his sister. He doesn't actually have to defeat her. So that's nice. Kind of really happy that I have... Um, whoa. We, what's wrong? Right. Try that again. <laughs> um, uh, there it is. Practice fighting. I love the way it starts. Oh no! He beat his sister as well. I started pressing the wrong button. I got all flustered. Why is she pointing at him? He beat her. Oh my god. Okay, so he's actually completed that. So now let's head up and change their outfits. We are going to plan everyone's outfits. I am going to speed this through. Um, uh, but yeah, new outfits. I love new outfits. And I have noticed as it's gone by, we've got more and more outfits. There's more variety. I mean, there's not a huge amount, but there is more than there once was. <laughs> Okay then, so I am done with these. So you got Abel, he is, he's for the most part changed, but he still has some of his um, uh, things from other cultures. So he was influenced by the Romans at one point. So he's got that attire and then he's stay, sticking with his Greece roots there. Um, and that's kind of what I've done for the older one. So again, with Aphrodite, Di not Aphrodite with Hera she was of um, that civilization so I think there's a couple yeah there's some things that are still and she's got the Egyptian um, style there uh, and she's got the colors still whereas if you look more at Artemis and Apollo who are more um, they are going to be living in the next generation. I mean, the others will as well, but these will really be living in the generation. Um, they have, although there's some colour, for the most part it's not. It's it's quite bland stuff and that. Um, although I still think it's nice. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> um, and then Apollo, I've done similar-ish stuff. I've yeah, he, he's like that. Then you've got Aphrodite. Now she's more so, she likes the pretty stuff. She's called Aphrodite at the end of the day. So a lot of her clothes haven't actually changed. Did I actually change anything? I don't think I did. No, I didn't change any of her stuff. She is sticking to who she is. Um, Hades... He, again, has kept a couple of things, but overall he has just changed with the times. Um, and we just did Hera. So, yeah, there is our outfits for now. Now we need to get them to go off and find some love in this episode. Um, and we still need to get Abel. I haven't forgotten about him. We still need to get him to earn another 2,000 simoleons with tips to finish early civilization off in um thing <laughs> um in historic we, we get our bonus if we do that but if we don't then we won't get that bonus which will suck okay i have also changed one of the lot traits to um dog hangout so we should get some dogs 
running through here soon that we can adopt because we don't have a phone to adopt any with and we need to gather those last two feathers as well for this challenge otherwise again we won't have completed everything who's that hey it's eve i i'm although i'm not talking to them i also don't want to get rid of any of them I'm hoping the dogs will start showing up soon. That's why I'm out so far. Okay, how are these guys doing? Once he's had a bath, I'm going to get him to travel over to um, the place <laughs> that will allow us to get tips. <laughs> the library. <laughs> We're going to the library. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. All right, we need that in our inventory and let's get rid of that so someone else can paint. How you do? You, you're tired? Really? Fine. We'll be back when everyone has sorted themselves out in the hay. Okay then, so his needs are fine. Artemis and Apollo's needs are pants. So yeah, we're going to get him to travel and we'll do dating in a little bit. Um, yeah, there's no point dealing with them right now. They're so, they, they need to sort out so many of their needs. So yeah, um, that's our, um, store that we tried to create. It didn't work and I didn't even end up including it because it was just a mess. So we have a store. It's a useless store with nothing in there to sell. <laughs> Oh, it was one of them. It was just one of them that I shouldn't have done. I thought it would be a good idea. <laughs> and it really, really wasn't. Right, so because of the time, we should get a fair amount of people coming through. I might actually just get him to go sleep because then, well, the time will go far by a lot quicker. And uh, more people will show up because he's here. Oh, I thought it should just go faster. That's a shame. I'll wait till a couple of people, a few more people are up here. Looks like we're going to be going over to this corner here. Oh, we're having a change of pace. We're, mo we're, we're moving spots, playing spots. So we'll go up here and play it. The book club's here, so that's always good. Um, and let's see if we can gain 2,000 smillion. So I just need to go to the Excel. And he's... Starting. Oh, nice one, dude. 20 simoleons off the bat. That is nice. Um, he should do pretty well with this, I would have thought. It's been a while, so surely this, you know, <laughs> they'll want to hear him. <laughs> but everyone's like, no. Come on, dudes. Oh, my God. Okay, he's getting a few people around watching. Um, we, we've gained about 80 simoleons so far out of 2,000. It's a start. <laughs> it is indeed a start. What are you doing, dude? Come on. Oh, that's a good sign. One of the computers is broken, so that means they're going to be using the computers less because there's... Yeah, one broken, which is fantastic. That's it. Give me your simoleons. Oh, he just gained one star celebrity. I mean, that's another way that gets him in is if you have the celebrity stars, plural, <laughs> not just one, then that does cause them to come over more often and swoon and shout out your name and things like that. He's getting tired. Come on, dude. You're not allowed to get tired yet. Five days till he ages up. Wow. I think we're do as this uh, challenge goes on, there's eight parts to it, or maybe nine. I think we're going to see that each generation starts. The one from the previous one dies. So when we go to middle age, we're going to find all of these sims die other than... Artemis, Apollo, and Ares, but all the others are going to pass away in Middle Ages. And I think that's quite cool to see generations be born and die. 
Everyone's gone to the other side. That's really annoying. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'm gonna have to get him to stop anyway. Um, so let's get him to stop there. He only earned 220 simoleons. That really, really sucks. But now we're gonna head back to the house and get Artemis and Apollo to find some new true loves. So hopefully a new dog will come into their lives as well. The family, I think, are missing Dakota so much. And it's definitely time for them to get a new one. I mean, Abel, he was he loved Dakota so much. He was the one that trained her and things. So, yeah, I really do think he's going to be happy to have a new dog. So I'm sort of just going to spy one out while they're going about their business. Okay, so it's coming up time where we can go and visit other simmies. So I think we will do that. I'm just going to get him to go around and sell all. Just tend the garden very quickly. Oh, no. Uh, I don't think they can do that yet. Um, I haven't seen any dogs hang hanging around yet, which is annoying. I would have thought some would have come by. But not yet. Okay, let's um, get these two to travel. Uh, they can travel together, Apollo and Artemis. And I do like the idea of these twins hooking up with the twins from the Vikings. I think that would be quite nice. Um, they're really cute as well. Um, both of them are super cute. And it's just the way they were born as well in the game. <laughs> they were just born with the looks. <laughs> okay. So here we go. So we have, who did we have? We had Jordan and Atticus. So I really quite like the idea of them um, getting together. They're all super into this new era, the Middle Ages stuff and the rest of it. Um, and I think how I would work this is one of the twins move in here with their counterpart and the other one move in the Greeks. So I think that might be fun. I think that might be a nice way of doing it and keeping them all spread out a bit. We definitely need to get some new blood in the game. And I think I'm going to add two... Yeah, two um, sim sim households in the next era, just so that there's enough blood to go around. Essentially, that they're not all getting married in the end to second cousins and things. Is that Poseidon? It is. There's Poseidon, and there is Cain. Cain. Yeah. <laughs> so their relationship seems to be going okay. Everyone's uh, being nice. And getting on. Yeah, show off your muscles. You got muscles for days, dude. Level 9 skill and all that. Tell a gross joke. Why not? Get in there. She's looking a bit snooty there, actually, Artemis. That's it. I really want her to go away. Frig, I think that is. It's Frig. Frig and Odin. Maybe we can do dates. It'll be one time where I use the phone. <laughs> it's to go on a date for these guys. Just to get away from their parents. Why are you so far away, dude? <laughs> You're going to catch a lurgy. Oh, build a snow uh, sand castle. You still talking to him? You are. Well done. He's hungry. Does she have any food on her inventory that she can give him? She's got dirty clothes. 
Oh dear. I did change a few of their traits and things like um, Jordan was... What was she again? A kleptomaniac. So I changed that. <laughs> um, I feel like one of them hated children, but I'm not sure who. Oh, that might be uh, Hades, actually. Hang on. Hang on. Oh, look at the way he's looking at her. That's quite cute. <laughs> and like, she could, <laughs> her freak couldn't get any close in between these two. Dude, why can't I see your face? Your hair's too long. Oh my God, what's that face he's pulling? <laughs> looks scary. There we go, that's a bit better. We've got some nice screenshots of these. I think this is the way it's going, I I have to say. I think it'll be quite sweet. Um, and as I said, it's a good way to keep the um, uh, families going. Because I'd really love for the Romans, Egyptians, the Greeks and the Vikings families to survive through all eight generations. I want to see if I can keep them all going or if I'm going to end up accidentally killing one off for not um, making sure they had babies and things and got in new relationships. Oh, they're having a hug. It's so cute. <laughs> Oh, and she, they are loving this conversation. Whatever they're talking about, they're loving that. Now, women still cannot um, uh, get jobs. However, the boys in the next one, there are a few more careers open to them, which I can't remember what they are at the moment, but that's fine. We'll go through that in a later episode anyway. She needs to pee. Right, I think for now we have got some really nice um, progression for them. Wow, look at the progression on that one. Let's ask him to cloud gaze before we break there. And also get him to knock on the door. Oh, really? That's annoying. Go okay, get rid of that for her. <laughs> Can you not? Oh. I can't even take a nice screenshot of you now. Seriously. Such a pain. He's really hungry. Yeah, so let's get these two to head home. They've made some really good progress. Um, they can start doing some other little bits. Hopefully we've got some dogs hanging around now. I'm really, really hoping. Okay, I'm just going to switch control to Aphrodite.